Hello guys, have you ever encountered CSRTs in a Java application and have wondered what CSRT is? In this video, I'll dig deep into how certi certificate based authentication takes place and also other types of encryptions. To get started, um, we have like three different types of communications, symmetric key, asymmetric key and certificate based uh, communication encryption. So in a symmetric key, we have a file and we use a key to encrypt the file and we have an encrypted file after that. And to decrypt this encrypted file, we use the same key that was used to encrypt it and then decrypt the file. As you can see, we have a file, we use the same key to encrypt it and then use the same key again to decrypt it. In an asymmetric key, we have a file and we have two different types of keys. One is a public key and another one is a private key. And as it sounds, public key is available open and anybody can use the public key to encrypt the file. And this private key only with the users who should be able to using that file and then they can use that key to decrypt this file and we have the file on hand. And there's one more type of authentication, certificate based authentication. Uh, let's dig deep into what CSRT is. Um, so we have a client that would like to communicate with the server. So how do we establish authenticity of a server? Server needs to give a certificate to the client so that client sees that certificate Verifies that server is authentic and then starts communication But how do we even know the certificate given out by server is authentic or not for that? We have a certificate authority and this is also called a CA server would give out its certificate to certificate authority the certificate authority task is to sign the certificate so it signs the certificate with a private key that is stored in a very secure location and gives it to the server now the server has that certificate which it can give to the client during the handshake and client can verify it so let's get into next steps and learn about what is a trust store key store and how this mechanism is going on uh, in real time so once we have a client that wants to talk to a server the client will have a trust store which is a light weighted store uh, for encryption information so it would store the certificate of the ca itself so ca itself has its own certificate for client to trust the ca and then a uh, server holds different kinds of keys uh, as you can see in the key store so it has a public key which is given to the client on request during the handshake and it has a private key which is used to decrypt the information sent by the client and it has a server cert to verify its authenticity with the uh, with the client and it has a CS cert that is given out by certificate authority now you might have wondered why client and server holds CS cert so we need to have uh, a CS cert that is agreed by both client and server to establish a secure hand handshake. We cannot have client using a different cert and server using a different CS cert um, for, of certificate authority.